Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press and we just got a teaser from Toyota in terms of the interior of the 2022 Toyota Tundra. So let me walk you through as much detail as I can share about the new interior of the exciting Tundra. <music> We have been very fortunate to see this full preview of the 2022 Tundra, but we've been waiting for a while now to see some interior photos. And finally, Toyota has released at least a teaser photo, which doesn't seem like a lot at the first glance, but there's a lot that we can learn. So let me walk you through each of the elements that I see in the new 2022 Tundra interior photo. By now, most of you know that I have been involved in the automotive industry for over 35 years as an auto automotive engineer, uh, where I designed, developed, tested, and produced cars and trucks for a living. So there's a lot that I can actually glean from just one photo. And so let me walk you through that right now starting with the most important part of this photo which is the infotainment system now i did a quick measurement of the width of the infotainment system which we can see and it's a 12.3 inches display now don't forget 12.3 inches is measured diagonally not horizontally but i did a quick uh, calculation of the ratio of the infotainment system in respect to the whole dash and this is not the 14 inch one that uh, lexus has shown recently in their new nx they're Definitely keeping the 14 inch one for a Lexus brand and I think Toyota gets the 12.3 inches version. By the way, this photo is definitely of the TRD Pro because you can see the two design themes which uh, kind of mimics a, a heavy duty truck on the left and right side of the hood. And you get the two bulges also on the hood on the left and the right side. You don't get the hood scoops anymore in the center which is unfortunate. But actually, I really like the new design, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in flesh, of course. Now to the left and right side, rejoice, we get the grab handles both sides, which is something that uh, customers often ask for. Of course, there are airbags in the A-pillar, uh, and you can see the JBL tweeters, both, again, left and right side, and this will be an upgrade and uh, likely standard part of the new TRD Pro package. By the way, the infotainment system will feature the latest Toyota technology and it will have finally wireless Apple CarPlay and obviously Android Auto as well. Now, if you look at the steering wheel, there's something interesting. There's a little bit of a red uh, insert in the center, which is often um, what we have in the racing steering wheels. And so that's kind of cool and a neat feature on this TRD Pro. Obviously a leather steering wheel all together. And then there is the uh, rear view mirror, which will offer two types one is the conventional mirror and then the as an optional you can see the buttons below uh, this will be the uh, electro electronic uh, rear view mirror which uses a digital display with a camera in the back now I know not everyone is crazy about that one but you can just flip the switch underneath and flip back and forth between the regular mirror and the digital mirror so most people think it's one or the other but actually the Toyota system is such that you can use either one based on your preference now the rest of the dash is concealed, but you can kind of figure out where things are. So there's a ventilation duct on the left and the right side of the infotainment system. Uh, there's obviously an um, uh, airbag for the front passengers here. And then there's a glove compartment underneath, which again, you can't see right now. And more ventilation to both the right side of that. And then there's a ventilation on the driver's side to the left of the steering wheel. So those are where things are. And you can begin to kind of see the shape of the uh, dash and there will be a, a semi-digital cluster for the uh, in the center as well for the driver's side which will be similar to what we see in the Land Cruiser. Now if we go back and take a look at the original full photo of the TRD Pro we can also take a look at the interior shot from the external side and there's a lot we can learn from here as well. You can see the uh, really large um, headrest in the front and also in the back, kind of almost like a Lexus style and uh, hard to tell exactly what kind of red leather they're using. But again, it looks a lot like the one that we see in the Lexus LX and the GX. Uh, and actually the seat belts are also in red, which is really cool. 
because that's the kind of feature you often see in more expensive European cars. You can also see the radar uh, cameras and again the uh, ha grab handles. Uh, and then on the roof, if you look carefully, there is a sunroof of course, but the sunroof or moonroof appears to stretch all the way to the back. So I'm suspecting it might be panoramic uh, moonroof or sunroof or whatever you want to call it, which would be uh, new for Tundra. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, and then you can see the, the rear window there with uh, the defroster system built in. So we still get that defroster and, and the shape of the rear window is such that it looks like it can roll down. So I'm pretty sure they kept that feature, which is important. And then the back in the front, you can see the 12.3 inch display again. Uh, so those are all the things that we can validate from looking at uh, external shots. And then there is a camera uh, below the um, rear view camera on the external side, which uh, tells you that this uh, there is a 360 degree camera on board as well, which will be very similar to the system we've already seen in the Land Cruiser. Uh, interesting to note, the A-pillar is blacked out, which is again a little bit different from before. Uh, lots of black accents on this TRD Pro, that's the sort of the theme of the of this whole truck and so the design is really cool and I'm kind of digging uh, all of the stuff that's being uh, shown on the interior. A lot more to come uh, and I'm going to continue to work on the other aspects of the TRD Pro and the Tundra as a whole so uh, I will feed you as much information as possible as often as possible. So a lot more information to come but for now I'm signing off. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.